Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today I have the honor of kicking off the 12 tags of Christmas event for the ellenhudson.com blog and I thought I would share this beautiful tag here as well. This year's theme for me that I picked was Holly Jolly Christmas and I am going to create a gift tag that features both products from the Essentials by Ellen line as well as Concord and Ninth. And I thought I would share a full length video tutorial here because I wanna show you how I did partial die cutting with my Gemini Junior to create a tag using this modern tags die set from the Essentials by Ellen line. So I have this tag die here, but it's not quite as big as I want it to be. So I'm going to use a partial die cutting technique to make this tag a little bit longer. Now this can be a little bit tricky with the Gemini Junior because you don't really have a flat platform that you're putting on the machine. So you kind of have to set up your plates with your die sticking out of the end. And then what I like to do is tape my cardstock to those plates so that it doesn't shift when I pick up my plates and take it over to my die cutting machine. So when I place my top plate, you can see that the die is sticking out of the sandwich. And the reason is that anything between the die cutting plates is gonna cut and anything that's hanging out is not gonna cut. I want to extend the length of this die cut. So by leaving the bottom portion out, only the top part is going to cut. And then I can take this die and realign it with the die cut lines that are already there, kind of stretch out the bottom of this die cut. So I've just kind of wiggled those side die lines into the previously cut die lines. You will feel it kind of lock or kind of shift into place. And then I'm going to tape down my die again, but this time I'm going to allow the top portion of this die to stick out of my cutting plate sandwich. So you can see I'm scooting it up there so that the top portion will stick out of the die cut sandwich and I'm taping my cardstock in place on my plates so that it won't shift when I pick up these plates and run it through my Gemini Junior. And you can see now I have a tag that is longer than the original die. So this partial die cutting technique with the Gemini Junior is, like I said, maybe a little bit trickier or maybe a little bit more confusing for some because your plates are not stationary on your platform when you're setting up your sandwich. But by taping my cardstock in place, I find that I can achieve partial die cutting with my Gemini Junior without any problem at all. Now I have some greenery from the North Pole greeting stamp set from the Essentials by Ellen Line. I'm stamping that in the Deck the Halls ink from Catherine Pooler. And I did use the Catherine Pooler do -si do for the berries, but I'm gonna end up changing that out later. This pink was a little bit bright for the color scheme that I'm using. And then I used the coordinating dies. I taped those in place. I ran that through my Gemini Junior. And now I have some greenery because I mean, what would a tag featuring the theme of Holly Jolly be without a little bit of greenery? <laughs> now I have some glitter cardstock and this is from a memory box cardstock stack. And I'm using kind of this warm silver to die cut my tag topper as well as the Holly Jolly words that are from the Concord and Ninth Festive Phrases die set. Now there is a coordinating stamp set. I'm just using the dies today. And I've die cut the words from the glitter cardstock and the shadow layer from a jade green cardstock. Now I'm doing a little ink blending. I'm coloring my tag using the Tattered Rose Distress Oxide ink. This color palette, by the way, I did use for the Essentials by Ellen holiday 2022 release and I fell in love with it. I'm not over it yet. <laughs> so I'm using it again today. And then on this shadow layer of the Holly Jolly sentiment, I am blending on some Deck the Halls ink from Catherine Pooler. Now there's a lot of ink on these die cuts. So I went ahead and hit them with the heat tool so that they will um, stick to each other when I try to glue them down. <laughs> And then I decided my greenery, the white around it was a little stark for this color palette. So I just took my blending brush with the ink that was already on it and just blended a little bit more green ink over the stamped images just to kind of knock back the starkness there. 
I wanted a little more detail on the background of my tag, so I used this cover plate die from Concord and Ninth to add a diagonal striped pattern. And then I also die cut the words Holly Jolly out of white cardstock two more times. I am going to stack these up to add some dimension, so I'm just adding a liquid glue on the back of this word Holly and stacking that on top of the other. And then I'm going to top off the stack with the glitter die cut. That's just gonna give my die cut words a little bit of heft, a little bit of weight, and kind of some dimension. It's really going to add a lot to this tag that I'm creating. I almost said card. <laughs> this could definitely be made into a card, by the way. And once I have all those die cuts stacked, I'm going to adhere them onto the shadow layer using some liquid glue. And I am just kind of looking at it from the front and seeing, making sure that I like kind of where it's coming out from the shadow layer, holding it in place and then flipping it over and adding those pieces with liquid glue. So I have three kind of areas of greenery. I went back and I stamped the berries using the Tattered Rose Distress Oxide ink and I've added those to the front as well. And I thought this needed a little bit more shimmer in the greenery area. So I have used the Concord and Ninth Boughs and Holly die set. And I've die cut some of these evergreen boughs from that silver cardstock that I used for the Holly Jolly. And I placed those on the back as well. And once I have all of my kind of focal area created, I added that onto my tag using some foam adhesive. And I finished that off with a little sentiment strip that I created using the Essentials by Ellen Holiday Vibes stamp that creates all of these sentiment strips at once. It is so fabulous. I added a few sparkling clear sequins. I layered up my tag, so I have a second white die cut tag behind this pink version. I added that sparkly little tag topper and some natural twine mixed with some silver thread as well, just to give it a little more sparkle. And I absolutely love the way this tag turned out. As I mentioned before, this could easily be made into a card project if you would prefer that instead. And this tag is kind of a special tag. Like I might not make 14 of these, <laughs> but it is fun to make a beautiful tag and add this onto a gift bag for the holiday season. Now, as always, I will have links to the featured products used in this project in the description at YouTube, but if you head on over to my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com, over there you're gonna find more still shots, more information, a complete list of supplies, as well as some information on this 12 tags of Christmas event that's going on over at the ellenhudson.com blog and how you can jump in and join in on all the Christmas Carol tag making fun and enter to win some prizes as well. So be sure to check that out. As always, thank you so much for watching. I am so glad you're here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications here on my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my card making and paper crafting video tutorials. And if you loved this video, I would love it if you would share it with a friend. Thanks again for watching. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.